Good morning, everybody. We are officially safely back home in Nebraska in the comfort of our own shop and also the warmth of our own shop. Not only because we have these little heaters up in the ceiling, but because it is going to be 60 degrees today and it's also going to be 60 degrees for the foreseeable future. So left all that snow in Minnesota and came home to nice warm weather. So today, the first thing on our docket is Grant and I are going to be running around grabbing a whole bunch of parts. So I think the first thing we're getting parts for is the plant. This is Grant's baby. Um, I feel like we did a really good job this year getting the planter in the shop early. So we have plenty of time to fix everything that we discovered. So last week or two weeks ago, um, I filmed a video about this as well, but we took the entire planter apart, which means we took apart all these little row units here and we kind of sorted them into piles. I know it looks like they're not sorted, but I promise they are. Um, and we decided how many um, gauge wheels we need to replace and how many true Vs we need to replace. And then there's a few little odds and ends, like this spring here that's broken in there. Um, what else are we picking up? Oh, we need to figure out uh, what we're doing for fertilizer on the yeah. planter here. And then I believe we also need to pick up some precision planning parts to put on these row units as well. Whew. Um, yeah, so I think that's what today looks like. Also shown in previous videos is this thing, the military truck. Batteries are uh, still holding strong. Um, anyways, this thing is in some serious need of uh, some TLC. And so what I have decided to do for the next 30 days, starting today and for the next 30 days, all proceeds from the merch are going to Grant. What? That's right. Yes. Okay. No, I haven't even told him about this. It. Yeah. So, so for the next 30 days, anything I sell off the website, it's like what? this hat he's wearing, this sweatshirt. I think, are you even wearing a t-shirt? I'm always repping. <laughs> right. Hold on. He's got a t-shirt. Yeah, everything, everything, everything I sell off yes. the uh, website is going to Grant. And we're going to try to uh, put some funds into this truck. So I already found, I found the flatbed for this thing, but they wanted like, they wanted so much money for a piece of scrap flatbed. So I was like, ah, I'll find something else now. So here we go. So help and, a guy out. And I really, so I, you guys saw us buy a torch at an auction like last year. I've been borrowing my dad's welder every time I need to weld on something or my buddy comes over and welds. So maybe I'll buy a welder. Ooh. Do you guys have any uh, suggestions for a welder? What kind of what kind of welder do you guys like? Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, laurafarms.com got the link in the description. Help Grant out. <laughs> Support his hobby. <laughs> I almost just walk right under that loader bucket. Um, okay. Right now I'm carrying the brain. Um, that's what I'm carrying. Oh, I'm carrying the brain of a tractor. Uh, actually, the combine. This came off Grant and his dad's combine. So holding this is my life. But... We're in the shop picking up some planter parts for Grant. I've got springs in my pockets. And while we're here, we're checking in. That's actually Grant's tractor. It's doing just like full inspection, maintenance checkup before we start planting season. A lot of stuff going on in here, huh? There's a lot of, a lot of green paint in this room. Oh yeah, old stuff, new stuff, our stuff, yeah. their stuff. And you think they're gonna vacuum the cab out? I think that's my job. What are they, what are they doing in here? Oh man. A lot of stuff missing. All I can say is, I'm glad I'm not the one doing this. Yeah, we'll leave this to the professionals. Yeah.
at how shiny this one is. A lot of stuff going on in here. Well, this is a new John Deere. It was an exact emerge. I think we need one of these. I guess we gotta load our own stuff now, huh? I guess. Don't pinch your fingers, these things. Or drop them. We'll get ya. Slice your toes right off, you drop these right? Oh yeah. Oh, look at the little tractors coming out of the trailer. They're babies. Oh, <laughs> this, is, this is where John Deere tractors are born. <laughs> We just witnessed a birth right there. Yeah, in just a few years, it'll be a full-size <laughs> tractor. That is so cute. I wonder where the combines come from. I guess we'll never know. The weird thing is, is that looking at this truck and trailer going down the interstate, would you ever guess that it was carrying baby tractors? I would not have. I love it though. Also, that one, might be my dream tractor. 8R410. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, yeah. I could get some yard work done with that thing. You see this little thing? It's not a garage door opener, although it looks like it. This is for Grant's air suspension. Now, I have looked at this from the outside. I don't think this does a single thing. It makes it so stable, and it just, it makes my truck look like it's not squatted, so. All right, well, whatever you tell yourself to sleep at night, I guess. You don't know squat. <laughs> See, it's, it's filling up right now. All right, whatever you say. It'll be all leveled out, nice. Okay. <laughs> well, we're at the junkyard now. Dad insists that this water pump has a backing plate. But... Do you remember? Do you remember the water pump I took off the Ford 460 the other day? I I, don't I think guess. It has one. See, if you look at it, look at how can, level it, it is. Out past, so I don't think it has one. Dad's like, well, I'll go. He insists again. though, so I don't so know. They, they didn't have one either, so I don't know I, what we're gonna I, do. There's a few comments saying that these 460s don't have backing plates, and I'm guessing you guys are right. So if you know anything else, this is an industrial engine. I don't know if that'd be any different from a, like an automotive engine, but. Please let us know. I'm tired of looking for this. For and I need to put this back on. <laughs> Dad's persistent. <laughs> okay, all right, well, please let us know. Thanks everybody. All right, so we're out checking the cows. They have been fed, so they're very happy here. Hi, pretty ladies. So we brought them back to the feed lot because they are starting to have their babies. 94 white tag, that's mine. Hi mama, and that calf is my first calf of the year. It is so exciting. Hi, pretty baby. So cute. Mm. I have high hopes for this calving season. Look at that pretty Nebraska sunset just does not get better than this. Besides, obviously, the bulls, all of these cows are pregnant. Um, and I do say cows, not heifers, because heifers are moms, or um, <laughs> how do I say this? They're not moms yet. They haven't had a baby yet. And so all of these cows have had at least one baby. Some of them are on their 10th or even 11th baby. So they're really experienced. And we categorize them or sort them with these ear tags. So these yellow ones are Papa Kurt's, green ones are dad's, and then the white ones are mine. And then it's really easy to pick out the bulls. This is one here because they're huge. <laughs> and they have special tags as well. 
I will say the cows love being in the feedlot because they are guaranteed a meal on a schedule instead of just being out on the stocks. They have this delicious food. Here you go. I mean, I've tried eating this before. It didn't go so well. It smells pretty good though. <laughs> I think they enjoy it here. Having the cows in the feedlot instead of out in a field or a pasture when they're calving is really helpful because they're, since they're in a contained area, it's much easier for us to watch out for them calving. And then when they are calving or have right after had their babies, we can put them in this little barn here. And then we can keep a really close eye on them and make sure that the calves are nursing and healthy. And if they need anything, instead of trying to like wander around a pasture or anything like that, they're really close. So we can keep a close eye on them. <laughs> okay, so we're doing some chores for the neighbor and we brought my siblings back. So those are my two younger brothers we're at our neighbor's house taking care of their birds. Check these things out. <laughs> These are like the prettiest eggs I've ever seen. Yeah? Yeah. That's our second dozen we've gotten. Yeah, we're yeah. saying one, one, coop. one day. This is crazy. matches your nails. I don't want to, I don't want to scare it too bad. It's just so pretty. I would. Yeah. Cold following, you might say. So many of them. I need to count them. 